Okay, here we are. This is lesson six of how to draw a Ford Focus. And as you can see, I'm working on the driver's door and all the way down to the lower rocker panel. But at the same time, I'm also thinking about the front end of the car because I want to get the front end done. That's the part that the readers will take most time to look at. It's got the most interesting elements. It's got uh, the turn signal and, and parking lights. It's got the... the uh, grill it's got the grill badge and all the bright work and everything's on the front end so um, I really want to get that done but of course I have to do the whole outside the car so as you see what I'm doing here is I'm working on the uh, like I said the door panel but then I'm going to go up front and I'm going to darken a couple of the places up that that uh, need to be darkened in order to correspond to how the photograph looks and again, I don't exactly copy the photograph, but I use the photograph as a guide of the way things might look in the real world. So uh, sometimes I'll, in fact, every time I'll change some of the values around. But in many cases, I, I try to use the, the photograph as the guide to what I should do and uh, how much I should pump up the values and, and uh, either accentuate the 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 light or the dark so I'm just uh, I'm working on that right now and I'm trying to make this look very dramatic so it'll be a good looking car and people look at it and say oh I know what that is or that looks like a great car in either case uh, that that's what's most important to me is that I do a good job with with this drawing and you'll see that there's a flare on the left front fender too. There's obviously one on the right front fender, but you can't see that. But uh, I need to make that stand out a little bit as, as being uh, beveled away from the surface of the body of the fender next to it. So that's what I'm doing there is trying to put both of those in shadow a little bit so that it shows you, shows your mind's eye what the shape of that flare is and what the shape of the fender is. And then there are a couple other areas on here that need to be darker in order to uh, get them to convey the feeling of, of roundness that you need. But that's what I'm working on right now. And there are some elements on the, uh, on the hood that need to be darker too. And the post to on the right-hand side of the not the right hand side as you look at it, but the right hand side of the car on the uh, windshield pillar too. That needs to be darker. It just is an outline right now and needs to be darkened up. But as you see, the more time I spend in one area here, the more things that I see that need to be shifted around in values in order to make it look right. So that's what I'm working on is, is trying to get all these parts to go together. That's, that's the most important part when you're doing this is it's not just one element, it's everything. It's like a big jigsaw puzzle. And without all the pieces in place, then it looks really ugly. So um, it's very important that you work very hard on, on making sure that each one of these things is in the right relationship to the other. And it's not really hard to draw, it's just this is just taking a look at something, seeing what you're looking at. So if you if you concentrate on details, you don't have to get all of them, but you have to get enough of them so that somebody recognizes it as, as what you're trying to draw. And the best way to do that is to take the things that are going to be most easily recognized. And when we get to that point, I'll show you what I mean with the Ford emblem in the front, the blue oval, and the... the uh, the escutcheon, as they call it, that goes around it, the, the frame that goes around the blue oval, and all the rest of these things, all of them contribute to the, the believability of the picture. So that's what I'm doing, is trying to make sure that this is, is really believable as a Ford Focus. When I get done, I want people to know exactly what it is. Anyway, coming along fine. Um, there are things that, that uh, need a lot of work still, but but we made a good start at it, and I think this car is going to look just totally dynamite by the time we get done with it.
And now I'm doing the, uh, the shade that's underneath the wheel well. And here I am shading it in. This is going to be very dark because not only is it in shadow, but then it's down where there is no ambient light that'd be striking it either. So this is going to be doubly dark. Anyway, we're running out of time for today. I hope you come back tomorrow. We're going to get a lot more of this done. You're really going to like it. Thank you very much. Bye.